What's up Barndo bros? Welcome back to our channel. If you clicked on this video, it means that you have the same exact questions that I have about spray foam. What's the hype with this stuff? Why is it every time we click on a video on a barn build on YouTube, they're using spray foam insulation? Well, I really don't know. So by the end of this video, both you and I will have a better understanding about spray foam, insulating your house, insulating your barn dough. Let's go. I'm here with Claudio from Cornerstone Spray Foam Insulation. He's gonna be our expert today. He's gonna tell us what we need to know about spray foam. Is it better? Is it not? How does it go on? The application, the prep work, Claudio is a licensed contractor. He does spray foam, he does all types of insulation, and he was also an instructor at the Daytona State College. That comes with a vast experience. Also, he does a lot of work in Barnuminium, so if you need work done in your barn though, get in contact with Claudio. I will leave their link in the description below. Nice seeing you here. You too, guys. I appreciate Thanks. you. Thanks for the work. Uh, what is spray foam? So spray foam is a liquid uh, manufactured on the job. So we get it, we get an A and B part uh, on our trailer, and once we get it to temp, get it right pressure lines, we bring it in and we spray it. It comes a liquid onto the substrate, which is metal or wood, and within three seconds it expands to its solid form. Now there's two types. There's open and closed. Here we did open cell. What's open cell? Mm -hmm. It's a uh, it's in, the, it's in the word itself. It's just cells that are further apart than each other rather than close cell, which, which they're closer together. Okay, cool. So with open cell, it allows heat to come in, but bounces and, and dissipates within the, within the open cell. Okay. You know, I had no clue when, when I first saw you the first day here that this had to be sprayed at a certain temperature, from, you know, according to the manufacturer and mm -hmm. a certain PSI. Like, there's a lot of science that goes into this. So. Why do you think spray foam is better uh, these days than, let's say, conventional uh, insulation that we used to use years ago, fiberglass or wool or whatever, the blown insulation up on the attic? Why is it so much better? So with the uh, advancements of technology with coming to the uh, spray foam industry with open and closed cell, open with perfect condition, uh, untouched by man or weather, it'll last you between 80 to 100 years. Uh, guarantee that the applicator installed it correctly. All right. So that's where I say perfect condition. Mm -hmm. um, versus your traditional fiberglass blow-in, which over time settles. You can have, I, as I call it, free free motel for roaches. Okay. Uh, they love insulation, uh, fiberglass bet. and blow-in. It's nice and warm. It's nice and warm, yep. And uh, where open cell is applied to the roof deck. So there's no way for them to get in and okay. Make a home out of so it. when we did our spray foam here, we did a vapor barrier before because I was going to use open cell. Uh, Claudia was also telling me that open cell is 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 more suited for the south since we live in Florida. In the southern part of the United States, open cell is more suitable, but it's not a vapor barrier. So what we did is we ran a vapor barrier and then we did the spray foam on top of the vapor barrier. Can you go over the process of spraying on top of that vapor barrier? Because I know you were telling me that there's a certain way that you had to do it. Yes. So with the, the vapor barrier you put on, it's not concrete. So what I say by concrete, it's not sturdy enough where I can just go ahead and apply it. So it flexes. It flexes. So okay. I have to do a little flash to build the structure and then spray it to my desired depth, which was three and a half on the walls and five and a half on the roof line. So that took some time building it out where where it didn't sag, where it could potential, okay. potentially. I also saw you maybe. that you were spraying the perimeter first just to hold that vapor barrier. Yes together and it was getting kind of stiff and then you did the center you did is that how you normally that's how all right that's it. awesome yeah. yeah all right claudia thank you very much man you guys did did an awesome job here if yeah. you guys need your barn door done or any type of house go ahead and contact cornerstone spray foam insulation the link will be below but now that you heard from a professional i also did some research online i'm going to give you some facts on spray foam insulation tradition insulation can be effective but often leaves gaps air gaps that could cause your air conditioned space to escape making your HVAC system work extra hard and you're spending money on energy. Spray foam on the other hand expands to fill every nook and cranny creating a continuous air barrier. This can significantly improve your home's energy efficiency. Now there's two main types of uh, spray foam. You have closed cell and you have open cell. Today we're going to focus on open cell because this is what we use in our barn to build. Open cell spray foam is superior insulation. It has a really good R value per inch keeping your home comfortable year round. 
As we mentioned before, it creates a tight seal reducing drafts and saving you money on energy bills. Open Cell allows some moisture vapor to pass through, helping to prevent mold and mildew growth. And also, compared to closed cell, Open Cell is lighter, putting less stress on your roof structure. Another good feature is sound deadening. It helps dampen the noise from outside, creating a quieter living environment. While not the cheapest option, open cell is typically less expensive than closed cell foam. Remember, consulting a professional is key to determine if open cell spray foam is the right choice for your specific needs. It's not a hype. This is the real deal, my friends. If you're building a barn though and you want to insulate it, make sure you go with spray foam. It's the only way to go these days. Thanks for coming by. Please subscribe, share, and hit the little bell so when we get new content, you get notified. See ya.